so I'm going to um, really focus, especially with the text, on uh, question 14, which is, is the open anti-Semitism in Prioris' tale a reflection of the inner character and prejudices of the Prioris or of Chaucer? Um, and to get into that a little bit, um, I'm also going to talk about question 13, which is the theme of uh, diminutiveness. Um, and I really think she starts out her prologue um, talking about little and her prayer to mainly the Virgin Mary um, and painting herself as this not more than a 12-month-old infant um, sort of picture pretty much to excuse everything that comes after it and to sort of remind, make the reader kind of draw a connection perhaps between the young boy whose throat is slit um, and her own kind of being um, and kind of is a way that she uses to get away with the fact that she tells this extremely um, prejudiced and anti-Jewish and I would even argue especially with the um, geographical location being in Asia Minor um, of her tale, uh, racist um, and so on and so forth as well. Uh, so with that excuse that she gives, I think that kind of shows us that um, this is more a reflection of the Prioress um, and what she believes, uh, mainly because she's excusing herself. And to get into the question 14 directly, um, I think the answer to that is really after uh, the end of the Prioress's tale, uh, where the prologue to Chaucer's tale of uh, Sir Hoppus starts, um, and that starts, what I'm quoting online, starting 695, it says, and th the host is talking to Chaucer, and says, and said thus, what man art thou, quote he, thou lookest as thou woldest fine find anna hera, for ever upon the ground I see a thee astera. All right. Basically, what he's he's saying is and showing us is that Chaucer is looking at the ground. He's it, after hearing this story, his head is on the ground. He might as well be looking for a hare on a rabbit on the ground. Um, and that says to me that um, Chaucer himself is quite actively showing the reader that. He's embarrassed by that tale, that Chaucer specifically is just embarrassed by the racism, the anti-Semitism, um, and basically the, the tackiness uh, and crudeness of the tale coming from the Prioress. Um, and I think it's in that physicality alone um, that we can kind of maybe get these, this idea that this may not have been the, probably wasn't the belief of Chaucer himself, who is kind of already painting this woman as a hypocrite, essentially. She's, you know, caring for these dogs, and yet she tells it the most anti-Semitic story ever, basically. Um, so to that I, I say... I really think um, he's kind of satirizing the Prioress's tale and showing the world physically in his actions that things like that are not okay. Um, so, yeah.